hello! Today's video will be part two of my giant Goodwill outlet bins haul from the week. So I hope you enjoy seeing what else I find. If you missed yesterday's, I will link it here and also in my description box below. Here we go. Let's see what else. I got these for crafting. Oh my goodness. This is this could not have come at a more perfect time. There's a craft I'm working on. I have been looking for paper that has like a woodsy scene and have not been able to find any. So this is going to be perfect. I can decoupage this on. It will work just as well as the paper I was looking for. That was a perfect find. Um, also for my shop, I am going to sell this vintage candle ring. I have sold things like this before. I ha I love these things, but I have plenty. I did notice that this little center of this pine cone came off, but I'll repair that and I will disclose that. But other than that, it's in really good shape. So that will fit nicely into someone's vintage Christmas collection. Okay, then I got a bunch, a bunch of Christmas ornaments. Some I'm going to craft with, some I'm planning to sell. They're all from, they're all like, they have dates on them, pretty much from like the 90s, 1992, some from the late 80s. So I know they're all older. I don't, they're not valuable, but they're cool, you know? So these I'm going to craft with. This, oh, this one, wow, they're, they're connected. This one I thought would be really cute on like a frame of like a Christmas sign because he's like long, you know, because he's long. I just think that'd be really cute glued onto like a wooden frame with like some kind of, you know, saying in the middle, like in the center part. I don't know. So I think he'll be really cute on a Christmas craft. And then this one I got just to kind of put in my stash for the same reason. I think that would be useful in a Christmas craft. And the same for this one. I love this one, actually. I think it's really cute. This would be really cute on a wreath. Not sure what I'll do with it yet. And then I got some, well, this one, not sure. This is Kurt Adler. That's a, like a ornament artist. I haven't looked this up yet, but sometimes these can be collectible. And if not, I'll probably use this in a craft. This is a Hallmark one from 1992. So I'm going to look this up. And if it does not have value, I think he will be adorable in one of my assemblage crafts. So that's what those two are for. These um, I think are so cute. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use them in a craft or sell them. I was thinking of doing like a, because there were, I don't do a lot with snowmen, but I was thinking of doing like a snowman lot because then there were also these two. They're adorable. So I don't know, I might put like a snowman lot together and just sell it like that. Cause again, I know they're all from the nineties. That was the dates on all of them. So they're old enough to put on Etsy and they're so cute. Look at those. They They don't smell like anything, so. I think that would be cute for a snowman collector. So that's what I'm thinking of for those. And then I got some, oh, this one's really cute. Oh my goodness. So I dug for, this had fallen off and I was able to find it, but look how cute he is with the little bird on his hat. I think he's adorable. He would be a great addition to someone's snowman collection as well. I don't see any damage on him. Like he's got this scarf. I mean, it's all intact. The only thing, and I can't tell if it's just the way he looks, to me, it looks like there might be a slight paint loss on the very tip of his nose, but that could also just be the way he was made. I don't really know. I can't tell. But other than that, he's in really great shape. And so I will sell him Ooh, as well. I need to drink. Tickle in my throat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will go into my shop. These will also go into my shop. I think they're great. I have a ton of these though, cause Chris's grandma was really into making these. So I don't need any more, but these are really pretty. They're those pin, you know, like you insert pins and beads or something. And so there's three of them. I just think they're really pretty, but I do not need them. I have so many. So those three will also be sold in my Christmas section. All right. Then, oh, this will also be sold if I can get the writing off. I don't know. Or I'll just use it somewhere. It's a little bird on a nest. It's a home co ornament. And the person wrote on it, it's from 1989. So I don't know if this, usually home co is a part of a set. I, my guess is there was probably three of them, but I could only find one. But I think that's really cute. Really sweet little birdie there. 
So that, and then this was really cool. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but this one I might keep. I just think it's really pretty and you know, I love birds. So, but that was cute. So that one is probably a keeper. And then this is also a keeper. So tons of ornaments this time. Oh, he's so cute. I love this one. You know, I love deer. Also for Christmas, I got this. This I fished out of the bins just in the nick of time. You saw it in the video. They just come and take the bins out from underneath you and you kind of just have to back up. So I wasn't, I didn't have a chance to look for the cap to this. It's yellow. I looked it up online, but I love this thing so much. I'm so happy to have it. I don't know if it works. I haven't tried yet, but it doesn't matter because I'm not selling it. Um, but it does look like it takes some kind of batteries, which I don't even know if they make that kind anymore. That doesn't look familiar to me, but I love this thing. Super excited to have it. And it just says patent, and there's a patent number, trademark modern toys made in Japan. I'm doing a terrible job here today. There, oh, no, it won't lock now. Before it was locking, but now I can't get it to lock. There we go. Ah, there we go. So there's the little made in Japan. So that will go into my Christmas decor. Okay, I also got, I always pick up trims when I see them at the bins because these are things that I use on packages in my Etsy shop. Like when I send out packages, I like to wrap them with vintage trims. So I found some red, I thought that would be good for packages that I send out in the next few weeks with Christmas coming. And then I also found a thing of ribbon, which I will use for the same purpose. If I find ribbon that has like a really cute vintagey looking like roll to it I will keep it like that and sometimes I'll use it in vignettes or like stick it in a box or whatever but this isn't very cute and it's not that old so I'm gonna go ahead and just use it as ribbon for my Etsy shop then you know I'm always looking for that better home and better homes and gardens gardening binder book haven't found one yet but I did find this so this is gonna go into my vintage gardening books uh collection it's the Better Homes and Gardens Complete Guide to Gardening. It's not the cool binder, but it does have lovely pictures. It is from 1979. And yeah, it just has some, these books are so nice. I mean, I do need to put it under something heavy because it got bent in the, in the bins. But look at the photography. It's just lovely. Really, really pretty pictures um, throughout the book. And so you can put them, you can, I could put it in a book, you know, in my book holder, hold it open to display some of these for spring if I want to, or summer, or just keep it, you know, in my collection. So, and plus it has useful information. So that was a good find. Now I'm going to insert some footage of something that I found for Gabe. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen this. So funny, but I will tell you that he wears them. Here we go. <laughs> I found these. <laughs> For Gabe at the bins, they're brand new. <laughs> I like, uh, dude, that's got to be like at least like a 20 pound bass right there or something, you know. Um, uh -huh. Tough catch, but reeled it in. Probably gonna set him free, you know, because I catch so many. Things anyways. This is. Okay, so he loves his fish flops. <laughs> That's what Jamie from Border Bananas, that's what her daughter said we should call them. I think that's a fantastic name. And um, I love them. It cracks me up that he wears them. He's just such a funny kid. So, all right. I picked these up for Molly and Maddie and Hannah. Once they're home, because Molly, you know, will come home from college and they're all going to be here. And we're kind of, our cases of COVID are kind of going up in Minnesota. So we've been as a family just kind of staying in a little more. And I thought these would be fun. They would give them something to do. I just have to get the right string so that they can make some bracelets. They like to do crafty things like that, even though they're older. And there's letters. I mean, they can make them and send them to their cousins for Christmas. I think that would be really cute. So we'll do something with that. Uh, I will get some jewelry string and they can use that. Also for my crafting, I got these. So these are just wooden beads. Some of them I can use as is. There's like little red ones and little white ones. And then the rest I can paint if I need them. But I like to insert, sometimes on my strands of beads that I make, you know, for my farmhouse decor, I'll put like little colored ones in. And so I think that's what these will, that's what these will be used for. And then this is super fun. I always love finding jars of buttons. I don't know why, but here's an old baby food jar full of old buttons. I just think that's fantastic. 
I've found several things like this in my time thrifting and I, I just, I love them. I don't know why I just do. And then here's like an old, I don't know if this was meant to be like a pill bottle or no, it's just to prevent leaking. So I don't know what would have been originally kept in this jar. Oh, it says something. What does it say? Oh, I can't read it. B-A-R-D, bard. But anyway, um, it's full of buttons as well. So I thought that was really cool. I got these to donate to a um, homeless shelter. Hannah is doing a collection of like um, personal supplies and water bottles and things for a local homeless shelter with an organization through her school. And I mean, these are oral B. Some of them say a dentist's name on them, but I don't think that really matters. So, I mean, they're perfectly fine toothbrushes. I would use them myself, but I don't need them. So I got those to donate to the homeless shelter. Personally, I think it's terrible that these were ever wound up in the bins anyway. Like, I think they should just have a policy of like pulling stuff like this out so that it can go to people in need. Like, why would we even risk this going to the landfill? I don't know. People always need toothbrushes, right? Okay. Oh, I missed some Christmas. I love these. I love when I can find cards of old Jingle Bells. I'm not using the Jingle Bells. I will just set this on a shelf or in a cheese box as the back to one of my displays. Man, I love these things so much. I know that's funny. Okay, and then I also got another bag of ornaments. So, woo, I am dropping things today. I told Chris, I have butter fingers today. I don't know what's going on, but a bunch of wooden ornaments. So there's this one, which I thought was adorable. And then there's this one. And, oh, I like to pick up nativities when I see them. So that's really cute. And this little one, Nutcracker. And then this lady. That was cool. I love her. I think she's really cute. And that one says 1988. Oh, someone lost a ball. Oh, I think this goes on this one. So there's this little person, and I think that this ball goes on here like it's like a balance game. I think I can't, I can't like get it. This is what the ball looks like. But I think that's what where that came from. So that's just really cute. I guess that's supposed to be like a jester, maybe, or something. So made in Taiwan, 1982. So those were some cute little wooden ornaments that I made. And there I go, dropping some things again. All right. What else? Um, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I saved some good stuff for last. Oh, here's one other thing I'm going to sell. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff left. Well, not a lot, but there's some really good things left. So I'm going to sell him. You saw there were two others that looked like this. I think they're so cute. I can't believe this one was not broken. The other ones were kind of smashed to bits. But he's in really good shape. Um, he has a little paint loss here and there, but nothing major. I think he's so cute. And cat things sell pretty well for me, especially vintage cat things. So he's just probably a hobby piece. I'm guessing someone went and made ceramics. So I thought that was really sweet. I found these. Oh my gosh. So I love these so much. First of all, I love this color and you know I do a vintage ornaments tree. However, I also saw on, I think it was on Instagram, someone had their cute vintage tree with their vintage ornaments and then on either side they had stacks of ornament boxes. So stacked like six high and then they tied like some kind of ribbon around them as part of a display and then they had like miniature trees like on top of those boxes of ornaments. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. So that's what I will use this box for, for sure. Like I'm just gonna put it in a display with my other vintage ornament boxes. I think that's so cool. And then along those same lines, I also pulled this. So there were some lights that went with this. You probably saw in the footage, but I don't like those lights. My husband, um, a set of those lights started a fire on his couch. He always tells the story, like one of the light bulbs burned a hole in the couch or something. That's what it was. Didn't start a blaze, but it like burned through the couch. That always makes me nervous. So I don't want those lights, but I did love the box. It's kind of torn up, but I got my mending tape and I'm going to, I am going to do a video of mending a box. I'm going to mend a book. I'm going to mend some book pages. And then that piece of um, like ephemera that I got 
that was in a frame. Uh, so I'm going to do all of those just so you can see what I do for my own personal collections. Again, I am not a professional. It's just whatever I do. It's what I do to like so that I can have this in my collection and not have it look like this, you know. So I am going to mend this box and then I will put it also in a stack of vintage ornament um, boxes because I think they'll look so cute together look at that it's adorable i mean honestly it's so cute okay and then also for my christmas displays i just found one of these but you can make ornaments out of these old bulbs and then i love these i got three sets of bulbs again i'm not gonna use the bulbs but i'm probably gonna use the boxes in a stack like this i think that'll be so cute or like this you know, you can do it like that, where you show the bulbs. This one's my favorite because it has like one of each color. Oh man, they're so cute. Look at that. Adorable. Westinghouse and Christmas bulbs, it says. Oh, look at that Christmas bulbs um, graphic. I love it. So that's what those are for. I also picked this up. It's just an old can. It says National Can Corporation, New York. And I think I don't have to do anything to this other than like put some Christmas greenery and maybe tie like a burlap bow around it and it will be great up on like a shelf or on my hutch. That's gonna be really nice and an easy DIY. Okay, and then save the best for last. All right, the last thing is actually, I'm gonna be sending off most of this to somebody. So the first part of it is this notebook. And inside this notebook, there's this, person's writing it looks like my grandma's writing honestly on and it says Andre Castellanitz Lore of Paradise Richard Ro Rogers volume one and as you start like turning through it Lawrence Welk um Songs of Faith the world's finest music you know Tennessee Ernie Ford Nearer to the Cross and hymns quiet music so I don't know if this is like records that she wanted or he wanted to get or a list like a um, inventory of their collection I don't know um I haven't tried to match it but what I also found along with this in the same place was this stack of 45s so to me it seems like this probably came from the same household because they were all together like this in the bins and so if you go through this the two that I'm going to keep because they remind me of my parents are Liberace because my dad I grew up listening to opera because my dad loved opera so I remember listening to Liberace and then Perry Como. So my mother loved Perry Como. So these two are going to stay. This is Kleenex Tissues presents Perry Como Highlighter. And so it says south of the border uh, because uh, bless this house, breezing along with the breeze, lies, and you'll never walk alone. So it's just like his greatest hits, I guess. I mean, they call it the highlight, highlights, highlighter. But, um, and then the Liberace set says, Sincerely Yours, co-starring Joanne Drew, Dorothy Malone, Alex Nichol, and then all of these other people. It's a really nice, um, you know, thing, like two, like you can turn the page in it. Like, a, ugh. So that's what I'm trying to say. So cool. And then it goes through also available now on extended play. And then these all, all these other extended play things that you could purchase. So those two will stay here. And then, so I'm sending these off. If you haven't watched, there's a channel called Vintage and Vinyl. The person who runs it is named Katie. And I'm going to send these off to her because she collects um, vinyl. And I thought to have like, you know, someone's little notebook and then a bunch of their records is kind of cool. So uh, the ones that are here, it's a lot of it is just like classical or like religious, um, like sacred, sacred songs of George Beverly Shea, um, Sousa Marches, this is RCA. Let's see, this one is um, E Power Biggs and the Golden Age of the Organ. Uh, 50 Great Moments in Music, although this one is missing its record, which is a bummer, but it's got the, you know, this little booklet. And then Father Stone and the Stringfielders from St. Raphael Project in Springfield, Minnesota. That's pretty cool looking. And then Jesse Crawford Organ Solos. And... Memory Lane by Roy Smeck and his Parad Paradise Islanders. Uh, 
Mantavani Highlights, Mantavani Encores, Ethel Smith Organ Solos. She's fantastic. Look at her. She is adorable. And then Beautiful Dreamer by the Melacrino Strings. So I just thought that was really cool. I'm going to send, <clears throat> wow. I'm going to send all of this along to Katie. Um, I think she will, you know, curate, take, take better care of it than I will because um, she collects this sort of thing already. So that's what, that's what will be happening with these. And with that, I think that's the end of it. So I will have a thrift haul for you later in the week. I'm also going to do a friend mail video, I think for election night. I thought that would be nice and positive. <laughs> and um, I also always have other content on my other channels. The links are in my description box if you want to check those out. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay positive. Remember to love your neighbor this week, no matter what goes on. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.